Okay, so wonderful good afternoon everyone. I welcome you to my YouTube channel presenting before you this tutorial is your tutor and friend, your mentor Hamper Clement. And today's lesson will be learning on synthetic division of polynomial functions. So there's long division uh, 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 of polynomial functions. Then there is also synthetic division. But the, today I'll be teaching you on how to use synthetic division in order to uh, factorize uh, uh, or divide polynomial functions. Now, um, if you are new to this channel, just make sure that you subscribe. Also, don't forget to share to others and also don't forget to hit the like button and enjoy your lesson. So now, these are my details. If you have a question, you can inbox me on WhatsApp and I'll be able to respond to you. So now, uh, let's get into our usual business. Divide the following polynomial functions using synthetic division. Okay, so solution. Solution. We have been given the first question. They are saying that we divide x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. Okay, they're saying we divide this by x minus 3. Okay, so when you look at this, what they want you is for you to divide this by this. Now, the first thing to do is first of all to work out this uh, that you have been given here. So we're going to say x minus 3 is equal to 0, like this. Then this is going to be x equal to 3. Okay, so from here, you make some, something like this which is going to look like this. Then this three is going to be here as a factor. Then since the coefficient of x here is positive one, the coefficient of this x to the power two is simply negative two. The coefficient of this five x is simply negative five. And the coefficient of this without anything is simply a positive 6. Okay, now when you do this, you first of all drop 1. Okay, you drop the first coefficient down there. Then you multiply. You say 3 multiplied by 1, your answer is 3. Then you add negative 2 plus 3, it's going to give you a 1. Then you ask yourself, you multiply again, 3 multiplied by this one, it will give you a 3. Then you add negative 5 plus 3, it will give you a negative 2. Then you multiply 3 multiplied by negative 2, it will give you a negative 6. 6 plus negative 6, it will give us a 0. Now, there is something which is very interesting here. Whenever you find a zero here, it simply means that the three is a factor of this. So now, we are going to use this that we found here to create another polynomial function. Okay, how do you do that? You first of all check the power that you have. The highest power is three. Therefore, in the next one, when we divide it, it's going to reduce by one. So instead of saying three, it will be, since the coefficient here is one, so it will be, okay, let me just put it like this, one x, the, the coefficient was three, so it's going to reduce by one, it will be two, okay? Then plus, since it's a positive, then since the coefficient is two, it means this one is going to be x, then since there's no power here, then automatically we get our negative two and we're going to put it here. Okay, say so equal to zero. But then they are asking us to just divide. Therefore, you can say that x to the power two 
plus x minus 2 is your final answer. Alright, that is your final answer. That is our final answer. Let's get to B. With B, we have 3 to the power, 3x to the power uh, 3 minus 5x to the power 2 plus x minus 2. Okay, they want us to divide this by x minus 2. The same concept is going to apply. We'll first of work out the factor. So it's going to be x minus 2 must equal 0. Then x is going to equal 2. Now, when you do this, then you can draw the same thing like this. Then your 2 is going to be here, this one. Now, what is the coefficient of this x? It is simply positive 3. What is the coefficient of this x? It is simply negative 5. What is the coefficient of this? It is just positive 1. And this, this will be negative 2. Very simple. Now, from here, you check if everything is okay. Okay. All right. So you drop down your 3 down there. 2 multiplied by 3, it's going to give us positive 6. Now, we we'll say negative 5 plus, th plus 6, it's going to be 1. Then 2 multiplied by 1, it's going to be a 2. Okay? It's going to be... Wait a minute. This is going to be 1. 2 multiplied by this, it's here. Then you add, this is going to be a 3. Okay? So this is going to be a 3. Okay. Then from here, we can say 2 multiplied by 3, it's going to give us a 6. Then if you add these two, we are, you are going to get a 4. Now, when you reach here, when you reach here, um, it was, this was to which power? It was to the third power. So this simply means that, this simply means that we're going to reduce it to the second power. So we are going to have something like, um, we're going to have something like um, 3x to the power 2 then this is going to be plus x this x plus this 3 okay this 3 so this is where our equation is going to end so this is equal to 0 but then our remainder Okay, our remainder is simply 4. So this is the remainder. So in my next video, I'll be showing you how you'll be presenting this. When you find the remainder, how do you present everything? How do you present everything? Okay? I'll be, I'll be showing you how you'll be uh, presenting everything. So your remainder is simply 4, but your equation that you have found is this one. All right. Let's get to the other question which happens to be C. So C, they are saying that we divide, okay, we divide, this is x cubed plus 5x to the power 2 minus 3x plus 4, okay, which happens to be here, divided by x minus 3. So the same concept is going to apply here. We're going to do the same. We are going to say that x minus 3 must equal 0. So that's the first thing that you do. Now when we do this, then we're going to say that this x is going to equal positive 3, like this. Then we can use synthetic division. We draw our usual diagram. Then we put our 3 here. Now the coefficient of this is 1. Then the coefficient here is simply positive 5. The coefficient there is negative 3. The coefficient there is simply positive 4. Drop our 1 like this. 
then we say 3 multiplied by 1. Okay, this here we found a remainder of 4. This simply tells you that 2, these 2, these 2 we have found here is not a factor, is not a factor of whatsoever is here. All right, so that is a clear representation. So this is going to be 1, 3 multiplied by 1, it's going to be, uh, so, sorry, okay, so 3 multiplied by 1, it's going to be a 3, like this, then this plus this, it's going to be 8, okay, then this multiplied by 8, it's going to be somehow 24. Okay, 24, this, this by this, it's going to be something like, um, this is going to be a 21, 21 multiplied by this, we can say 21 times 3, 3, 6, this is going to be uh, 6, 3, this plus this, it's going to be 6, 7, okay, 6, 7, so this is 67. Okay, so we have found 6, 7. Now, this simply tells you that this 3 here is not a factor of this polynomial function. Therefore, your equation just reduced by uh, a power 1 is going to be x to the power 2 plus 8x plus 21 as an equation with a remainder of 67. Okay, so this is the remainder. So this simply tells you that this 3 here is not, this x minus 3 is not a factor of this. What do we mean when we say it's not a factor? It simply means when you factorize this, okay, by whichever method, you won't find x, and you won't find uh, this 3 to be a factor of that. So this is how you solve these questions. They are quite very easy. Those are my details. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the like button and also share to others. Thank you so much. Shalom, shalom.